this is the beginning of the vacation. We're going to some thrift stores and I needed some Snickers. My husband needed some Snickers and of course a pair of jeans, you know, some stuff. And this is Russian thrift store. The name is Familia, but in English, it's some sort of like surname. You can find some brands and like on the budget, but um, the prices have changed a little bit and it's not as sort of affordable as it used to be. We have a lot of Snickers. Some of these sneakers are for a reasonable price. This one, for example, is about $30, but I'll talk in my podcast about real prices in Russia. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you some of the purchases. Okay, guys, we've just been in a thrift store, purchased two pairs of sneakers. The first one is Reebok, and um, I can't say that I really love these sneakers because, like, I don't like the, um, the, the, the velvet, the purple in this. I really wanted, like, white only but still really nice option they're super super comfortable but yeah my husband would purchase some other sneakers so now we're going to a little bit different thrift store guys i'm literally exhausted because this is probably the third store to visit it and i feel tired my feet are in pain and um yeah the traffic is going crazy i guess everyone's going home it's tuesday evening so we're gonna keep on going this is basically traffic we were going to a little bit different thrift store and we were hungry we were on the way and it's not even crazy it's just regular traffic that you can get every single time going from one place to another around 4 or 5 p.m on tuesdays like from monday to friday basically by the way we're going towards suburbs instead of the center of the city this is shawarma and we were super hungry that was a nice meal really cute space for like teenagers and others who are hungry basically these apartments right there are very popular in this district but if we're going a little bit closer to the center of the city it's definitely not going to be that low um but it's basically like a suburb but it's still in moscow i guess guys so, do you remember when I told you that I don't really have pimples and I have pretty much smooth skin and voila, I have a pimple right here and a small pimple right there. Okay, so today is the day two. We're going to be going to the market. Um, this is a, the cheapest, I guess, market in Moscow with food and some food products. I'm going to be showing you some products that we're going to be purchasing. I need some cream. I need some cheese and fruits. A little bit of veggies so it's basically like gonna be um ordinary day and you're gonna be there well i'm gonna get ready and it's not gonna be for camera it's gonna be just for me and then i'll show you the rest this is moscow central ring that goes around moscow and you can get from one place to another going like a circle it just goes there and then like this around the city now we're going to my documents this is the name of the sort of you know government space where you can submit lots of different documents where you can get your driving license your um, foreign passport whatever you need you go to one place and you just get it from there and submit all the documents and it's all over the city so it's not just in one place not even for city it's all over the country then we finally managed to get to the market. I'm showing you just some prices. You can see that it's in rubles. Basically, it's like $2. If you see like 200, it's more like $2. for cheese and cottage cheese and others like if you see 100, it means $1 approximately, but this is the cheapest market. Let me remind you like I guess in Moscow. All the prices are in kilos for one kilo. We've just come back from the market and we purchased a lot of different things like fruits, veggies, and we went to this Indian store that I'm obsessed with, but unfortunately I forgot to film this because I'm stuck at vlogging. So let me show you what we have here. We purchased this delicious grapes, three types of grapes, then a little bit of strawberries. This is small mangoes. Uh, this is probably the first time trying them out and this is a big mango so there's like the difference and we purchased some blueberries but they're not here probably later it's such a beautiful breakfast in the morning <laughs> so we have some cottage cheese then a little bit of almond shredded almond and then we have mango and um, blueberries lots of things chia seeds and we 
top this all with coconut oil really love it and for the price they're asking in the market it's not really expensive and by the way we have some plum this is the color of the plum bud it's definitely not the regular shade it's more like yellow plum this is the shade Okay, so it's Friday and we are redoing, sort of rebuilding this part of the kitchen. We've been renovating this from January this year and we changed the floors. This is the before and this is after. Um, this is the countertops. That's what we call work in progress. Real quick, I really want to show you how we have lunch. Um, so this is potato soup with water and and onions and some other things so it's sort of base then I will add um, a tablespoon of heavy cream I'll put this in the microwave for a minute or so when it's more or less warm I'll add shredded cheese this is cheddar cheese on top like that put this in the microwave for another minute or so but the best part is that I'm gonna add some green scallions and bacon on top and I always serve this with breadcrumbs we are in Nahimovsky Avenue or Prospect in Russian and I have no idea what happened with my filler but it's in green and then a little bit later I'm going to be showing you Chekhovsky station this is metro station in the center of the city this is just the center of the center of the center of the city um, I really like it but this is not the prettiest stations that I showed you in this video we have much better if you want me I can go and show you Moscow stations in my future vlogs we have toilets, not everywhere, but in some stations. You have to pay to get there, but I used it once. That is really cool. Then we were going up to the center of the city to have a walk. And this is the first view. What you see, a lot of these buildings, they're going to be that old. And you are not going to see a lot of high buildings in the center of the city. Then I'm showing you some park, random park. I have no idea what type of park this is. And you can see a lot of lightnings. They are in the evening, super bright, and it's looking pretty. Uh, this is the theater. I have no idea which one. We have a lot of theaters in Moscow. And then the funniest part, I was showing, I was willing to show you the building on the left. This is the Council of Federation, something like this. And I asked my husband, am I allowed to film this? And he said, no, you're not allowed. And then just my camera dropped and you can see the rest. Most of the buildings, they are for rent, for some office space, shops, restaurants. There are like not so much people living there, but there's still people living in the center of the city, but it's super, super expensive. We're in the center of the city, it's Saturday, and um, we are in a restaurant, really nice restaurant, they have nice burgers, delicious burgers, and the atmosphere is very pretty, I don't know really about design, but really good, I'm going to show you the toilet bowl later. I love my solid tea, so good, with the milk and spices. My brisket. Additionally, I ordered tuna salad and my husband for sure went for a burger. I guess there was some sort of Indian festival. I have no idea. This is the first time seeing something like that. But it's coming for Moscow to have some celebrations. And then it's me showing you my outfit. And then we are about to go to the most like bougiest and expensive shop in Moscow. This is called sort of Central Universal Shop with um, like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Balmain, and other brands. I was shocked how people can buy this poor quality fabrics for that amount of money super expensive 
and a lot of synthetic fabrics. Like crazy prices. I'm just like in a museum. Don't even ask me what this building is. I have no idea. But this is the center of the city. Really pretty. I have no idea what this is. Most of the time it's just a hotel and maybe some shops, I guess. We went to this place with the uh, different resorts and uh, honestly, I did, not, I did not like these bowls with the um, sort of like chocolate on top. They were not as good as they looked, though the Claire was super delicious. It was amazing. These two buildings, where I'm mistaken, are the Bouget's hotels and the most expensive hotels in Moscow. Uh, right in the back, you can see this is some sort of government building, sort of. I have no idea. And then you can see a sneak peek of a red square a little bit in the background. Um, and right there is a theater. It's a big theater, Bolshoi Theater. Very popular. If you know something about ballet, um, it's probably there. <laughs> 